Grab your dumbbells and get ready to strengthen your chest and triceps in this beginner friendly upper body workout. Whether you're new to fitness or just looking to add variety to your routine, this workout is designed to help you build strength, tone muscles, and boost your confidence. As your certified health coach, I'll lead you through a warm up followed by a series of exercises targeting your chest and your triceps, providing instructions on proper form and muscle engagement. From chest presses to tricep extensions, you'll learn the essential exercises to help you sculpt and strengthen your upper body muscles. Choose a weight that feels challenging for the duration of each exercise. As you get stronger, you'll be able to increase the amount that you're lifting. Listen to your body and meet yourself where you're at today. And don't forget, if you want exclusive access to the full body strength workout for beginners, join me on Patreon. By becoming a member, you'll gain access to a library of additional workouts, Zoom calls with me, my follow along daily fitness calendar, and content to help you reach your fitness goals faster. You can join us today at patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness. With all that being said, grab your dumbbells and let's buff up your upper body in a routine that will leave you feeling strong, energized, and ready to tackle whatever comes your way. Let's get started. Let's warm up your upper body muscles so that you're ready to tackle this chest and triceps workout. Our first warm up exercise is an arm jumping jack. Reach your arms out towards me, cross one over the other, and when you hear that timer, we're going to open and close the arms. Here we go. Open and close, stretch out, and let any dust that needs to clear away so that you feel prepared for our dumbbell exercises, let it get out of your system. I love focused workouts that target specific muscle groups. It allows you to really make that mind muscle connection and engage every muscle fiber so that you leave feeling stronger and satisfied. Good, let the arms swing and just let this bring blood flow to the upper body. Good, our next warm-up exercise is a wall slide, imaginary wall. You take your hands in a goal post-like position and imagine that you're standing against a wall. When you hear the bell, all we'll do is reach our arms over our head and bring them back down. So stretch your arms up and down. If you'd like to add a little internal and external rotation, you can do so. So the more you practice this routine, play around with it. See what feels good to you. But I want you to see if you can get as much range over your head as possible. Don't shortchange me. I want full range of motion. Good, keep breathing. This is our last warm up move, so I hope you're ready to start with those chest and tricep muscles right after this. Good job, big wall slide and relax. Next is push up negatives. So we're taking it down to the mat. Meet me in a push up position, whether you're on your toes or your knees. Let's slowly lower to the mat. A push up negative, we're lowering as slowly as possible to the floor, and then you can get up however you want. So on toes or knees, lower down, take at least five counts, my friend. Once you hit the floor, bring it up. Try it on the knees first, and then if it's too easy, take it to the toes. I'm just so freaking happy you're here. Go slow. Don't go fast. I want to see the middle of that push up. Ah! <laughs> Good job. You have time for at least one more really slow one. Okay, that's our bell. Find your dumbbells. We're doing tricep extensions next. You can do the standing or on your knees. Elbows in, shoulders away from ears. Hinge forward at the hips and we're going to extend from the elbow. Flex the back of the arm and bring it in. Now I really want you to squeeze the back of your arm as much as you can. Keep your neck long. 
Tummy is tight. Can you squeeze the back of your arm a little more? I know you can. Let's do it. Real big squeeze. Press back. Bring it in. You can even hold it back there for a moment. See that muscle? Oh, I see it. Good job. Few more seconds, maybe one or two more reps. Whew. Relax, let's flip onto our back. Bring your dumbbells with you. We're going into a chest press. So we're laying down on the floor. Dumbbells are coming up. Your palms face forward. I want you to keep your collarbones nice and wide. We're going down to the mat and then back up. So here, working your chest. If you have the ability to change the dumbbells that you're using with each exercise, I would recommend a heavier set for the chest press. Triceps a little bit harder to have heavy, but your chest is a bigger muscle group. And the triceps and chest work together. Good. They're like best friends, chest and tricep muscles. So when you work your chest, you are also working your triceps. Keep that press going all the way up and all the way down. Oh, that's our bell. Gosh darn. Now we go into skull crushers. You're going to extend your arms up towards the ceiling. I want you to bend from your elbow. And when you hear the bell, we're bringing the weights towards our forehead. Okay. So now you know why they got the name skull crushers because you're essentially imaginarily crushing your skull. Don't really crush your skull. I like you. <laughs> I want you around for a long time. So bring the dumbbell down and bring it up. Squeeze the back of your arm. Whew. Are you feeling that? I bet after those push up negatives, you definitely are. Now you can always do this with one weight if two is awkward for you. Good, punch towards the ceiling, extend <laughs> and up. Yes, brilliant. Don't let the upper arm move, relax. Our fly press is next. So you'll bring your weights back up, palms face each other this time. And I want you to imagine that you're giving me a really big hug. Ready? So when we hear the bell, we're gonna go out to the side and back in. Big hug. Again, I would recommend trying to challenge yourself with a heavier weight if the weight you have right now is just not feeling like it's doing very much. A little bit goes far when you focus on quality, form, and finding the right challenge for you. Big open and close that fly press. Woo! Good, right? I know. You're doing great. Keep breathing. Mm hmm. This is nice. Whew. And relax. Bring the weights in, roll to your side, and we're going back up to a standing position. Grab your dumbbells. You're going into our next exercise, which is an overhead tricep extension. Arms up, bring the weights behind you, and then press them up over your head. Keep your belly button in and your spine long. Ooh, I bet you're feeling it now. <laughs> now that we've added a couple exercises together, do you feel the backs of your arms? I do. Now when you wear your tank top at your gathering, people will ask you, what are you doing? Caroline Jordan Fitness. <laughs> Invite them. The more the merrier. You probably inspire someone to be healthier. You can do that today. Good. Bring the weights behind you and up. Woo! Okay. We're going into two more exercises. Next is a standing uppercut. Shoulders down and back. Abs are nice and tight. You're going to imagine that you are a boxer, kind of, with weights. And you're going to press one arm up, down, other arm up and down, like you're scooping. Oh, that feels good. Some people don't think you can work your chest standing. I beg to differ. 
Good. So big scoop. I'm smiling because I can see your chest and triceps popping from here. <laughs> Good. You got it. You're looking great. Keep breathing. Ooh. Yes. You'll have to let me know what weight you decided to use for this workout today. And next time you come, see if we can add a few LBs to the weight you're lifting. Last move. It's a straight arm lat press. So shoulders are down and back, your palms face backwards. Keep your spine long and all we do is keep our arms straight and you're just gonna press them right back behind you and in. Now, you don't wanna arch your back. We're just trying to extend from the shoulder. Okay, so don't do all those funky dance moves. Isolate the back of your arm. So press back and in. Good, oh, give me a good squeeze. That's it, you're doing great. Keep it going. Straight arm press. This is our grand finale in our chest and triceps. You doing it, you doing it, yeah. Squeeze in one or two more reps. And relax. Rest with the weights. And you, my friend, have just successfully completed this 10 minute workout for your chest and your triceps. Now I wanna hear from you. How do you feel? Let me know in the comments below. And every time you keep using this video, you will get stronger. Practice makes progress. Don't forget to join us on Patreon for longer videos, my follow along calendar, and to be a part of my community. I'm so proud of you. Let's keep our fitness journey going together every step of the way. I'll see you soon.